Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. KuCoin users need to make changes to your account security settings? We've got you covered. In this short tutorial for 2024 will quickly guide you on how to add or to enable or to disable the two-factor authentication on your KuCoin account. Whether you are switching devices or simplifying your login process, guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, basically the first thing that you need to do is of course to go ahead to the KuCoin official website. So go right there and click on KuCoin.com and as you can see guys, this is the first thing that you should do. It's to basically log in into your account. So here we go, I'm going to log in inside of my account which is like that, I am a human and there I am. So this is the first two-factor authentication process which is the six digits email that will be sent to me. Now I will turn it off as well that I'm going to show you in this video as well. So now let me just uh, Passes. So for the first time when you try to actually pass it, you can't really do that without actually verifying your account. So there we go. And as you can see, here it is my account and now I have logged in successfully. Now what you should do guys is pretty simple. From, out, from now on you simply have to click on your account and go to your account settings. So let me just hover up to it and here as you can see this is the account security. So let's just simply just click on it and here you will find everything that you might need. So here you will find your email, here it is, your phone, if there is any connection between your phone and the Google verification is in case you are logged in using your Google account, here you will find delete account and yeah basically these are the advanced settings like login password, training password etc. So you also might find the identity verification which is right here, you will find other stuff right like there but we don't really need them. All we need to do now is the email or basically the two-factor authentication and to disable it. Now as you can see we have here the two-factor authentication which is the 2FA enabled uh, but only with email. Normally it should be with phone and Google verification. Let me just verify it with Google so send code and as you can see you have not figured it out, let me just wait, okay, and yeah, this is the code. So, for more, this is basically uh, my code, etc. Now, let me just go back, security, and yeah, as you can see, it is still not bind. Now, let's talk about each step of these, and let's see how we can actually unbind it. So, the first thing, when we try to actually uh, log, in, log into our account, what did that appear. So you saw it at the beginning of this video. They have sent it an email. So to remove it, we simply have to click on unbind right through here. And as you can see here, when you try to unbind it, well, they are always going to need at least one thing from the two-factor authentication. So the two-factor authentication is something that is forced to exist and you cannot just remove it just like that because you want to. So in case you would like to remove it, it is not really possible randomly. You have to really... Um, keep one of them so it is completely up to you to choose if you want to keep either the email the phone or the google verification what i highly recommend you guys to get to have is basically your phone since your phone is always going to be by your side it's always going to be with you and you will not read really uh anything else so the mobile phone is pretty much necessary and basically mobile phone is going to be ne needed like in all of these three things so simply by having a phone number or something like that is very useful so this is what i highly recommend you to because email sometimes let's say for example that you have a two-factor authentication with your email as well so it can take a lot of bit of time and it can be late for you to actually go to your email check the verification code and log in into your email etc etc but in case you were just um, Binding, binding your mobile phone then it's gonna be simple you just have to click on log in and then you will pass paste your password on the, the or credentials and right after that they will send you an sms with the code that you have to verify it with so yeah this is why i would like to have a phone number instead of email since email as i said it can be late to have now for this google verification it is not really by an email that's going to be sent to you here that's going to be verifying you. Yeah, it is an email that will verify me, but instead there is a process that's going to be behind it, which is basically um, kind of an application, an alternative application that's going to be uh, giving you passwords every 30 seconds, depending on the app to be more uh, exact about it. For example, there is this app. Let me just show you Google Authenticator. 
So this is exactly the app that I was talking about. So this is the Google Authenticator app. It's, you could find it on Google Play, Play Store, any App Store, anything that you have on your mobile. You can find it with this logo or the old logo, depending on the version of your mobile. You will find this uh, application in it. So this app works as basically um, account saver or account protection layer, which is basically, let me just switch a couple of pictures. Let me Microsoft, for example. Here we go, Microsoft Authenticator and yeah here it is so here as you can see you will find all the account that you have so for example you have enabled two-factor authentication on your instagram you'll find it here google you find it here depending on what kind of account you have linked with this app so this app will give you a code that is going to be a six digit code of different numbers these numbers are not going to be going up and down or something like that they are just going to get randomized every second or every 30 second or every timer so they have a timer there as you can see that's gonna be when finished you cannot use this code anymore it's gonna be giving you another code to use so this can add a lot of uh, protection to your account and this is gonna be helping you a lot and the best thing about it as I heard from the last update that they have released you can actually receive this code even if you were offline so in case you hadn't got a good internet network or you didn't have uh, like 4G or something like that well you still can get the access to this app and you still can get these codes so in case you didn't have the internet access on your mobile and you wanted to connect on a PC from somewhere else well then you will be able to actually find them so this is very very useful things to actually have in case you were interested in adding a security level without having a lot of things so this is very useful to have beside your email the phone and other things so two-factor authentication is actually unbindable and you can turn it off but at what cost by keeping at least one of them if you had three of them at once it's going to be late for you to connect your account it's going to take you from an email phone and then the verification app but in case you was going to only connect by using only one app which is going to be your verification app which is going to be simply for example google authentication then that's going to help you a lot to actually manage to do so so yeah this is in general how you can do it and just as a clear or to make it sure make sure that your security low, uh, level is low uh, whenever it is higher than low that means your security or your way to sign into your account is going to be much harder it's going to be taking much time so m try to make it as low as possible so you can actually make the process of logging in inside of your account much easier and your account can be much more accessible by so many devices instead of being harder for you yourself to access it but only using the same device so this is a very very useful tip for you guys in case you were you were like tired of going through all the bypass uh, authenticators from email phone and all the google apps so this is going to be very very helpful for you so yeah guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and see you guys in the next tutorial